Hello everyone and welcome to Demoiselle. My name is Kushi and first of all I'd like to apologize for the quality of this video. My laptop's not recording any sound at the moment so I'm, I've had to record this video on my phone and my hands aren't as steady as I'd like them to be so the video might get a bit shaky in some parts. I'm sorry about that, please bear with me. Right, so basically this video is just a short review on the Mac Studio Tech range versus the Studio Fix range because I've had a chance to use both. About three, four months ago, my skin broke out in really bad acne, so I decided to get some foundation to cover it. Previously, I was using Olay, foundation from Olay, but I didn't feel that was working enough for me, so I decided to try Mac. Now, I went down to the Mac um, concession at Selfridges in Birmingham and they suggested the Studio Tech range for a number of reasons, which I'm about to share with you now. Now, the Studio Tech range looks like this. It comes in a regular Mac compact, just like this. And this is what it looks like inside. Sorry, it looks a bit abused because I've sort of abused it a bit, but... um. As you can see, it's quite heavy and it's quite thick and cakey. And that's exactly what it looks like when it's on your face. It can tend to be quite heavy. It gives quite a matte appearance. It covers everything really, really well. But it can tend to be quite full on. And um, especially if you use a sponge, like the sponge that comes with it or any sponge in general, um, usually I'm not a fan of using sponges to apply makeup. I think um, brushes give a much better finish and a much better look to it. So I usually use a brush. In fact, I use a stippling brush specifically for my Studio Tech. I don't have it to hand right now, but um, we do have a link on our Demoiselle blog that you can check out. I know Eudora has put up a link to brushes, different types of brushes and their uses. So you can check that out and see what a stippling brush looks like and how it's used. And you can imagine how I would have used it for my Studio Tech makeup. Now, um, as I was saying, it's really, really good for full coverage. So if you've got heavy, like a lot of blemishes or heavy scarring that you would like to cover, then Studio Tech is your friend it's a go-to product for you because it will cover that adequately but I found that for normal everyday use it's a bit too heavy for me um, some girls are a fan of the full on makeup look personally I'm not so after a while I did get tired of the Studio Tech range because a little bit of it goes a long way but it can be a bit too much. So I took myself back down to the Mac store and I told them what I wanted and they suggested the Studio Fix range which looks almost exactly like the Studio Tech range and the same compact and everything except it's got Studio Fix on it. Now this is what it looks like inside. It looks kind of light but I assure you it is my colour. I've got some of it on so um, yes, but it does look slightly lighter than my complexion. I had doubts when I saw it the first time, but after they put it on, I realized, okay, it is my complexion. And that's really, really good for a natural look. It gives sort of like an airbrushed look to your face. It's slightly, it's a bit more polished without looking too made up, if you understand what I'm saying. So it's good for a normal, everyday girl next door look or an evening casual dress up look in fact I'd use it for any makeup look that I was going for simply because I prefer the natural understated look studio fix is really really good for that now um, when it comes to price studio fix retails for about 19 pounds and the Studio Tech range retails for about £22. So this is obviously more expensive, but in terms of what they do, the Studio Tech range does a lot more because it does give a lot more coverage and a little bit of it goes a long way. So it does last for quite a bit more time. So overall, I would say Studio Tech is not for a day-to-day -day look, at least not for someone with preferences like mine. I would stick with Studio Fix, 
but if you're a fan of heavy makeup some girls are i'm not there's nothing wrong with it but if you're a fan of heavy makeup then yes studio tech is for you if you'd like a more natural relaxed quality to your makeup then i would suggest using the studio fix foundation range and that's basically it um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more details and even more content on demoiselle.gh.tumblr.com. Thank you very much. Bye.